Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. This week leading up to Mother's Day, we're exploring the unique relationships each of us have with our mothers. <laughs> yes. You've seen Selena, you've seen me, <laughs> and how they've influenced us to become who we are today, no matter what the relationship. Our relationship <laughs> with our moms have affected us, affected us in many ways. Ladies, uh, how has the, ra the way you were raised affected how you mother, parent, or how you live your lives? Now, we'll start with you, Summer, because you, you talk about your mom. Girl, yes. that is my girl. Yes. 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 My mother is my BFF, and, you know, I'm an only child, so wow. that probably helped, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. And she and I do everything together. Shop together. We talk like 10 times a day. It's oh, pretty wow. ridiculous, but, you know, my auntie once told me we needed to cut the cord. But I don't understand what she meant. <laughs> yeah. Are you still on it? I'm still on okay. it. Right, totally. But, you know, I just I just love her. I love being friends with her. Like, our relationship has morphed into that. She gives me such good, solid advice. Mm -hmm. You know, so, like, seriously, when I'm winning, I call her. And on those rare moments, no, I'm just trying to <laughs> <laughs> I should, she'll laugh at that, too. Yes. But in those moments where you feel like you're losing, I can call her. And I, whether it's parenting advice that I need from her or she'll give me that boost, like, oh, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. The kids will da-da-da-da-da. So she always just kind of uplifts me, and she's my cheerleader. So, I mean, I hate to sound all like, you know, brilliant. No, but, I mean, but she is. She's just, yeah. I mean, especially, like I said, being an only child, to have that relationship, since I don't necessarily have that sibling relationship that I grew up with, uh -huh. you know, it's just such a blessing to have that's, her in my life. That is amazing. Amazing. That's she don't to have the sibling. Yeah. That's yeah. a good She's right. inspiring to me Do you so much. find yourself using uh, the same advice she gave you as a child and you do the same thing with your girls? I think when I became a mother, and especially when I realized I was having, I had, I have two daughters, you know, ages 10 and 7, Jory and Skye. Mm -hmm. And when Jory and Skye came along, my goal was to have that relationship mm -hmm. that my mother and I have. That's good. So yeah. even when I deal with them, now they know I'm still their mother, because mm -hmm. that's what my mother used to tell me. She's like, now nah, I'm still your mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she tried to make sure you know, but we're friends. But she, I said, we're friends. She's like, well, not yet. You yeah, know? Yeah. So she would try to keep that balance, and I understand why. But nevertheless, one day she did have to come back to me and say, no, we are friends and so that's what I want my my daughters to feel mm -hmm. in growing up is that they have mm -hmm. a friendship with me but oh you have to still respect me right you Absolutely. know so that is important to me mm -hmm. to have that balance right. so right. yes right. I do use that and all of us come from very complex backgrounds yeah, obviously Marlo yours is very complex as well it tell is. us about uh, the first 10 years of your life where you were able to spend with your mother and how that affected you uh, the first 10 years of living with my mom before foster care Mm. What, what I always say with my mom, it was a lifestyle with my mom. Okay. You dress nice. You had the nice house. You had the plastic on the couch. Mm -hmm. When you got out of school, you had to take your school clothes off. But uh, on the other end, what I realized now since I'm becoming a new mom or mm -hmm. aunt mom with my nephews, mm -hmm. It's the affection what I was lacking. Because ah. with my little nephews, it's auntie, kissy, <laughs> and it really feels good. And I'm not an affectionate person. Wow. So I realized with my mom, it never was a kiss or a hug. Mm. It was just, take your clothes off, put that on, sit your butt over there, don't, you know, it was mm -hmm. a lifestyle. And that's yeah, where yeah. I get my extraness from, I think, okay. and mm -hmm. loving nice things. But love is important. And yeah. I'm realizing that with my nephews. Yeah. Love is so important. Right. Are you finding yourself changing a lot now and, and being able to give the affection that you lack? Absolutely. Okay. And that's usually tough. Like my girlfriend to go to her. I'm like, girl, go ahead on. <laughs> right. And then my little nephew, he's like, Auntie, I and know. we want to be underneath. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. Like, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, God, I didn't get this. So, yeah. And it feels so amazing. Does, yeah. it, does so, it make you tap into your maternal self? Like, mm -hmm. do you Absolutely. feel like you want your kids of your own now? Well, no, I, I don't know. They're so bad. <laughs> <laughs> girl. No, girl. Well, <laughs> it's well, we can no, send some kids. I, I can tell you, I can send a few yes. two more. Those boys, are, they can disappoint me and make me so mad. And as soon as they have a sad look on their face or if I've yelled at them, I'm like, I'm sorry, or come over here with auntie. It's yes. like, I'm like, God, I never knew I was like this yeah. until you actually, you're there with it. Yeah. Like this morning, I didn't finish getting my hair done at three in the morning. Mm -hmm. They had to wake up at five. I could have slept because I had someone take them to school, but I got up with them. I wanted to make, did you brush your teeth? Yeah. Did you right. do your lotion? Uh -huh. You know, it was just so important. Let me throw some bacon in the oven real quick. Yeah. Or, so I'm like, wow. That, we just have like right. an instinct, like a motherly yeah. instinct. Yeah. Don't you know, it doesn't matter if it's you're, a, yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah, you know, yeah. just And all women don't have it, so that's why, I didn't have that, like I said, so mm -hmm. it's so amazing 
to where I do have that. Yeah. Oh, but she yeah. does they're like bringing it out. Yeah. Right. They're bringing yeah. it out. So look how God is, is using you, though, Marlo. Yes. Yes. Everything that you've been through. Um, and he's using you in a major, major way. Mm -hmm. So what a blessing to be able to be a blessing yeah. yes. to, to people that and love it feels you. Good. And I good. love that she's giving them what you feel like you didn't get. Because so many times people don't get something and then they mm -hmm. feel like, oh, well, I'm not giving it either. <clears throat> right. I love that you said, no, I'm going to give it too. So yeah. that is a beautiful thing. And they will love you for life for that. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And it's Thank interesting you. too because my mother is non-infectious. Like she's a, a thug. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is why I'm a thug. You know. <laughs> but my mother is a doer. My mom yeah, she that. won't do all that hug. Like we don't hug and all that. Oh, Very similar don't. to mama. Yeah, yeah, like we don't be hugging all, yeah. carrying all uh -uh. like that. But we're like we'll get to an argument the next day. She'd be like, "Mm-hmm, what you doing? Uh -huh. Right? Like, That's you just got on my nerve yesterday. Uh -huh. You still want to talk? Yeah. She's just a doer. She yeah. shows you. My mama shows you yeah. as well. I mean, it's very, it's it's crazy. I was looking at Mama Brenda, and then I was thinking about Mama Joyce yesterday. Like it, they the very same similar. They resist everything in life. Yeah. <laughs> Go <laughs> against the grain. Go against the grain. No matter what. But I'm glad, and I think we got those traits too yes. as well. Mm -hmm. You know, just kind of like individuals. As, as much as, as much as many times as I'm like, I ain't never be like that. I'm like, man, I'm just like just my mother. Right. Turn into them. She <laughs> turns into them. You do turn into yeah, your mother. You it's crazy. You yeah. looking yeah. like them everything. Absolutely. So, yeah, well, fun. we'd love to hear what you think. Mm -hmm. Send us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. We'll be right back. Yay.